And so we finally do the whole analysis and we find that from a statistical perspective, we were able to replicate his claim. So Emoto came to our, our campus at the Institute of Noetic Sciences uh, and, and gave a lecture on what he was doing, which was basically in, uh, sending beautiful thoughts to water and then creating frozen crystals from the water and showing that, at least claiming, that the, uh, the water that was exposed to beautiful thoughts had beautiful crystals. Mm -hmm. and either control water or water that was exposed to the opposite, to, to negative thoughts, either didn't produce any crystal at all or produced a sort of a mal-shaped crystal. So after his talk, I went up to him and said, would you, would you be interested in a double-blind experiment? Mm -hmm. Because he wasn't doing that. And, and of course, it opens the possibility that he was simply selecting examples that matched what he was looking for. And he, he immediately said, sure. We would do that. So we did the intention on water, and then we sent bottles of intended of our intention water along with controls, which were water from the same source but not no intention, uh, to his laboratory in Tokyo. And so we finally do the whole analysis, and we find that from a statistical perspective, we were able to replicate his claim mm. that the, the uh, intended water, the blessed water, looked better as crystals than the same water that was not blessed. But even in that condition, double and triple blind conditions, we still were able to see something. So it supported his notion that, yeah, water seems to be very reactive to intention and attention. And we've done a number of other studies involving water, which I think I mentioned in the book.